Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this presentation by Jonathan Weldon who is the CTO of Meta uh, and Jonathan is going to give us a presentation on the dawn of electro, electro optics. Uh, as always please do leave your questions in the sidebar and we will take these live at the end. Uh, I'm now going to turn off my camera and hand over to Jonathan and I'll reappear at the end to uh, take your questions. So over to you Jonathan. Well thank you Chris and good morning to all. Uh, Meta provides a broad portfolio uh, combining outstanding knowledge from more than 15 years of experience in the field of metamaterial science, holographic and diffractive electromagnetic technology, laser technology, digital imaging, optoelectronics and biosensors. So it's quite a, quite a tall array there. We've also recently uh, become a NASDAQ listed company and we're very eager to develop customer applications using a strong balance sheet and other investment sources to really bring more customer applications to market. Meta designs and fabricates speciality holographic optical elements, otherwise known as HOEs, that can not only provide and replace traditional lenses and mirrors, but can also provide optical functions that are very difficult to achieve with conventional optics. HOEs are smaller, they're lighter, they're cheaper, they're better tailored to customer needs than conventional optics. And we're able to integrate optical functions into a thin nanostructured layer of recording material using volume holographic recording techniques and other surface relief techniques. And we call this platform capability hollow optics, and it provides a platform for a variety of industrial and consumer solutions. And these solutions range from holographic filters, some waveguide based. These uh, also these can be used for spectral analysis within scientific instruments and notch rejection filters for things like security glasses or shields and things like that. And there's also a growing need for user prescriptions in AR eyewear. And uh, a new announcement we made through the acquisition of a Swiss based company called Interglass is a lens casting capability which allows us to fuse precision cast lenses with our functional HOEs. And we named this uh, platform AR Fusion. We we'll also present other applications of HOEs in illuminators, for optical microscopy, or biosensors, including one we're developing for virus sensing. So there's a myriad of different configurations and capabilities that Meta can address. And we also work closely in partnership with material suppliers. And indeed, we have a very strong partnership with German-based Covestro to tune the requirements that we need, especially for the holography, um, exactly to the customer needs right at the material level. So features are custom designed and are suitable for product integration by lamination, by thermoforming, by plastic injection molding and casting. And functions can be realized in a thin form factor that's invisibly integrated into what appears to be a normal eyewear lens. Generally, we're really excited with the high optical functionality and high transparency that we're able to provide to our customers. In the case of filtering, you can see here uh, a breakdown of features compared to other classical filtering techniques. And the use of volume bright gradings or VBG, holographic optical elements, not only provides a large area cost advantage, but also high efficiency, large sizes, and low cost. Using our Covestro of holographic films, we're implementing a roll-to-roll -roll contact copy HOE manufacturing process, which is a cost breakthrough in a variety of applications, some of which I'll outline shortly. Some of the customer applications and developments include an experimental holographic heads-up display or HUD, for example, a picture you can see here that we've developed for a customer. Other technical capabilities demonstrated here is a spatially varying reflection filter. And this can be optimized to provide narrow band, high OD blocking, and high out of band transmission. And as I mentioned in the pre 